Hello! My name is Ta. Let's not leave my name in. Um, I wrote this. Let's call me Home Row then. And so this is a history of mar marijuana in America. And it's a historical fiction and it gets into why marijuana prohibition is inconstitutional. Really succinctly, marijuana prohibition is inconstitutional because it violates substantive due process as the Schedule One classification is an arbitrary law that has no rational basis reasonably related to the legitimate federal government interest of regulating commerce. <sighs> Simple to say, very succinct. We will uh, discuss, and if you have any questions about that, please pop them in the con comments uh, what that exactly means. Look at the rational basis test. There's a strong presumption of constitutionality, but this is the Marijuana Prohibition, or which I truncate into MPIU Facebook page, and thank you for liking it. Please like it some more, because Facebook has done something very, very interesting, which we can look once we go to the Insights. And under Insights, if you click, and it loads, and we go to the Likes, and then we change this year to a 4, there you go. Uh, you will see uh, the very strange, and we'll talk about news meme in a bit. You're like, why are they making so many memes here? This is why. This was about this time last year. We had substantially fewer than 100,000 likes. We only had about uh, 20,000 likes when, the, uh, when I found that if you post memes, you get a whole bunch more uh, user interaction. And so then, boom, uh, didn't pay for one like. You go from 20,000 to 306,000 by the end of 2014. Then I think uh, uh, Facebook had either a policy change, an algorithmic change, or an employee change, because I went from getting about a thousand uh, likes uh, through page suggestions a day to what almost looks like they have it algorithmically tied. For every like that I get, they take a like away. And as you can see with the, the topping right here, and this is one of the reasons why I think maybe it was a structural change, because suddenly we just started getting thousands, like. 5,000 likes a day, and then it just immediately stopped, and then Facebook sucked them all out. Uh, and we have no problem with Facebook, and thank you for the free likes. Um, we like what you're doing. It's, uh, it's You're a wonderful website, uh, and, and uh, an inspiration to all novice coders like myself, which brings us to this is one of my coding projects. I was not allowed to promote this book because, you know, like I said, I'm a lawyer, award-winning one. Uh, but I will, and so if you guys, anybody wants a copy of Satan Smoke, again, put it in the comments. I think we're going to turn it into a wiki because it needs to be footnoted. But, that being the case, news meme is an interesting thing. And what you do with news meme is you meme the internet. So here, I'm going to paste the link, and I'm going to create the meme, and then it comes up. This one doesn't have a picture, which is great because then you can upload your own picture, and I'm thinking we're going to add like a classic meme option. But memes can you know, very easily make fun of people, and then also you can you can make memes like this. And the people that I share it on Facebook, and I had to optimize all this so that it would actually interface with the open graph on Facebook and share really well. Twitter, cool, yeah, pages on Twitter, hmm. Uh, but with this, it will direct you back, and it's a very nice sharing uh, medium, and it's a link back to this page. And if you want to see where this goes, it says you know click meme for link. So you click the meme, and it opens up a new tab. Uh, and so, what was that? See, that meme was inspired by this underlying internet content. And that underlying little internet content is this uh, paper that was done into how a THC and CBD, or cannabinoids in general, really, really help at shrinking uh, brain tumors, especially when used in combination with uh, chemotherapy. Great, great. Isn't that weird how uh, something that is in Schedule 1, therefore it has absolutely no medical use, has a documented medical use. And this is not an isolated instance of its documented medical use. So uh, how can you state, and unless you're being absurd, how can you state that something which fundamentally says it has no medical use, and then it, it has a medical use, and they go, oh, well, you see, it's a THC in it. Great, so uh, you know how there's like phenols and berries? You're going to now make a distinction between some, so there's not going to be a health benefit in eating berry. You're going to have to take the berries, put them through a chemical extractor, get the phenols that are in them, and then put that into a capsule or a supplement, and then that will work. Are you kidding? Are, are you kidding? Seriously. But any questions that you have as to why and PIU, please put them in the content, comments, comments, contents. Try to, I hope I explain NewsMeme more. I'm going to be using it a lot, and uh, also we're going to be having a contest at NewsMeme. 
uh, you know, celebration of the First Amendment. Again, like I'm a lawyer, so I make stuff like like news meme because uh, you know what does what does this really mean? Okay, not maybe not this one in particular because this one I made, I had to like upload that picture and also then make it. So this one has like the least amount of um, copyright questions. Uh, but let's say I use this picture here of the, the well-educated, because he's wearing glasses, Rick Perry. Rick Perry says, you know, biblically, the poor will always be with us, you know. He opens his mouth and a shoe drops out. Great. I'm actually, you know, I, I, if, so if we click through the meme on this one, you'll see what I like to call the underline. I also like to trade options. I'm kind of weird. So let me cast this tab, and you'll see I used this URL, popped that into news meeting, and then that scraped it, and then it brought up this picture, and then I was able to make a meme in that, so that creates First Amendment uh, issues, and also copyright issues. We will have those kind of conversations later. Uh, this one is primarily for you know, marijuana prohibition, meaning the Schedule One uh, status of that particular chemical. And it's just, it's, it's a very nerdy um, page. There won't be any dabs. There won't be any rips of bongs. I'm sorry. Uh, there will be, you know, me saying, well, you can check out this book, and we're going to try to put this into a wiki because we think it should be footnoted and interactive. Uh, but thanks for liking my page. Share people. More likes because I want to test this Facebook algorithm. Is it flatlining because they have changed it? Like if, Eric, if, I, if MPIU gets a like, do they take one away? Because that's what it's been doing for the past, like, two months. Anyway, uh, don't go change it.